Okay, I've used an old computer cable, like a hard drive cable, and I've got um, I've cut a strip off here, so you can see the pink at one end, and I've just got to separate six six cables off here. So I'll split them and I'll strip them, and then we'll solder them to the points on the board here. So welcome to part 50,000. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to trim, I'm going to split this ribbon up. I've got the six cables connected at the other end here, as I described in the last one. Um, and so what I'm going to do is just carefully carefully trim back these cables here that's one two You want to be quite delicate with this because you, if you cut through to the next cable, we haven't got any spare ones on here now because I've pulled the rest off. Um, and you're in the in the the crap a bit. Three. Four. So as I described in the last video, um, I just used a standard um, 40 pin um, hard drive cable, which I mean, you know, most people got these lying around if they've ever done a PC rebuild. You can even use the ones for a, um, uh, you know, ribbon for the old ancient floppy drives. And I've just cut a, I just cut through the first portion and away we went. So. Um, all I need to do now is strip these back. I find that um, using pliers is a bit too heavy for stripping the plastic back, so I just get about I put I get it back to about there and bite down and pull pull back and it's perfect. You don't if you don't bite too hard, you'll um, you'll feel the plastic. So I'll just trim those off and I'll tin these up, and then we'll put it onto this plug here. Me um, 10 pin IDC, I think they call them, and that's going to be what we plug our um, USB ASP programmer onto, which will plug straight into here like that. Bang, done. Um, and then we'll test it and see if it works. So, fingers crossed, I've read the instructions right because there's a lot of different type, different instructions out there and I just was getting confused looking at two different versions so I thought I'd just stick with one and move with that because some show five wire connect and some show a six wire connect so we'll, we'll see what happens right so now we're going to tin all of the six cables that I've stripped back
minus 3. other three now. Okay, and now I've got to wire it to the circuit board of the 9X.